Westland, Michigan, May 23rd, 2022. And this is my butterfly garden as things are just starting to come up. This is Pussy Toes for the American Lady. I have Virginia Snake Rip for the Pipe Vine Swallowtail. I have Dutchman's Pipe for the Pipe Vine Swallowtail. I have some trees and pots and I have the willow and I have cherry and it's for two of the species would be the eastern tiger swallowtail and red spider purple i have hackberry in a pot for the ios and the tawny emperors and the snouts to name a few and another cherry and the spice bush for spice bush swallowtail and then i have choke cherry and i have sugar maple and that's for a bunch of different butterflies and moths um that would be oh let's see how about the cecropia and the rosy maple and then my arbor here is common hops for the question mark and the eastern comma and right ahead of us is my hop tree for the giant swallowtails and the tigers also lay on that and let's see then i have a few um Nectar sources, I have the red clover, and that's for the eastern tail blue and the orange sulfur. And over here, I have an American elm, and that's for a bunch of different uh, butterflies. This is my um, native honeysuckle for the snowberry clearwing. And, oh, let's see here. I have um, chives, and many species like to nectar on that. I have some... Oh, nice juicy bananas because there's quite a few species that like to feed on overripe fruit. And you can see my milkweed. The swamp milkweed is just coming up. This is my tulip tree. And it's for all oh, the eastern tiger swallowtail. The Prometheus use it. Um, and you'll notice that my trees, I've cut them. I make them Brenda size each um, fall before the frost sets in um, to keep them short so I can find species on them. I have false nettle coming up here for the red spotted, or excuse me, red admirals and question marks and eastern commas. Oh, let's see, I have another a prairie willow for the viceroys and oh, red spotted purples and I have rue and that's for the giants, swallowtails and black swallowtails. And I have Pearly Everlasting for the American Ladies. And I uh, have Wild Bergamot, a Nectar Source. And I have Violets for the Variegated Fritillary and other Fritillaries. Now oh, let's see here. Um, this here is my Cherry Tree um, for the Tigers and Red Spider Purples. And this is my Chinkapen Oak. And I always give my um, pilot Polyphemesis, the second brood. And let's see, um, here I've got more swamp milkweed coming up and more chives. And this is another hackberry that I keep in the ground. I have purple cone flowers and more nectar sources, viburnum. I have wild indigo back there for the well, then you go dusky wing, and, and here in a pot, I have staghorn sumac for the lunas, and you'll see back here, I have fennel for the black swallowtails, and I have lilac there. Um, I Back here is my spice bush for the spice bush swallowtail, and I have stinging nettle for the red spot, or red admirals, question marks, eastern commas. And wisteria for the silver spotted skippers. And I have plantain for the, oh, come, let's see, Baltimore checker spots, pa uh, painted ladies are a few. Um, back here, I have a prickly ash, and that's for the uh, giant swallowtails. And then let's see here, I have another prairie willow here and more swamp milkweed and let's see um more nectar sources and this here is my pawpaw tree for the zebra swallowtails and i have more pearly everlasting 
So, oh, I forgot. These these are my Nana Berry um, Viburnum, and they're for the Hummingbird Clearwing. So, I just wanted to give you an update on... Um, oh, I have Turtle Head for the Baltimore Checker Spots. I just wanted to give you an update of how things are starting off this spring uh, in my garden. So... Happy butterfly and mauving.